Good day, my lovely people. How is everybody doing? It has been a very long week, a long week, and I can finally see through the forest and see the trees. Um, finally finished moving in, and um, I'm gonna say about 97% unpacked. Just gotta find a home for a, a few little knickknacks. But uh, I went to Walmart a little while ago and I forgot to pick up the camera, but I did a note to say when I come home, let me just pick up and show you guys what I purchased. Um, not a lot, just a few things that, you know, I needed to replace things that I threw away when we moved or things that we ran out of. And just a note, uh, this is a double diet here. We have American Standard Diet as well as my plant base. So you will see a mixture of both here it's not a lot again it's no meats and stuff we don't do a lot of that anyway but yeah let's just get right into it all right let's start over here i had to restock on our coffees some decaf for me and regular for the house all right let's get over here and I'm in my new kitchen guys I'm so excited and actually tonight is gonna be the first time I'm cooking here I've been here a week a week tomorrow and and tonight is gonna be my first time literally turning on the stove um, been so tired and didn't have any energy to do any cooking so yeah tonight is gonna be the first night I got some paper plates because yeah we're gonna be using these for a minute around here no dishes for me some uh, everything bagels this is new to me from Walmart they have a new line of bread there which is nice this is some baked with love New York style rye bread the chips some Lay's chips and then from the produce let me pull you guys in a little bit so I don't have to pick up everything Oh, sorry about the juggle. Some bell peppers, some jalapeno peppers, a couple of uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, we call these in New York Chinese apples. I forget what they call them here, but we call them Chinese apples. I haven't had one in a couple of years, so yeah, I'm going to probably throw down on that this weekend. One tomato, a couple of bananas, some baby mushrooms. Got to have the fries on deck. Uh, some string beans, a couple of bags of string beans, some mixed California style veggies, some broccoli florets. Let me swing you guys around. Uh, I've been on a coconut milk kick, but I'm going to be doing some baking this next week or so. And uh, I believe it'll taste a lot better with the almond milk or soy as opposed to coconut flavor in my macaroni and cheese and stuff. And some 2% milk. I have some dairy-free silk coffee creamer. This is my favorite. I have some extra sharp cheddar cheese for those sandwiches. You know, can't have a sandwich around here without some good cheese on it. Got some country crock as well as some country crock plant base. Some Tillamook. I can't pronounce that. Tillamac or Tillamac cream cheese. And then I got myself some vegan cream cheese. This is the uh, scallion, scallions taste, scallion style, I guess you say. And the uh, vegan cream cheese is made out of cashew milk. And this is really good. It's pretty good. Also got two nice plants. I never go into the... Uh, home section at Aldi's but I've always saw a lot of folks on YouTube in their videos uh, saying that they purchase a lot of things in that section so we were able to find some nice things ourselves so these came from Aldi's two nice plants aren't they pretty two nice plants to add to my collection one day I'm going to make a video and show you my plants I don't have a lot but I have a few and I love my girls they have names and then this one here, they are so nice and healthy. And these came from all these, man. They are so nice and healthy. Just gotta get a new pot for both of them because they are outgrowing these little temporary plastic pots that they have containers that they have in there. And this also came from all these. A jumbo pack of them old school church mints. 
Remember those mints you take to church? Be sucking on them suckers while you're in church? Yeah. Okay, let me drop down below while I'm here. Got two cases of water. 12 pack of peach uh, carbonate for myself. Some onions. Let's see if I can swing over this way. Loving this uh, new kitchen setup. I'm really loving this. I just got to figure out my lighting. Um, okay, got some carnation milk. You know that every guy got to have their sweets when they're watching football and late night movies. Some extra virgin olive oil spray. Some fish fry for my oyster mushrooms. And uh, I gotta make another video on this other way that I make the uh, fried fried fish for uh, the vegan style. Some black pepper, some bacon powder. Is bacon powder the same as bacon soda? No, not bacon soda. Bacon something. Forget it. Forget I asked the question. Sounds stupid. A can of uh, Bush vegan beans. Some vegan broth. I never tried this before, but I'm happy to see it. Vegan protein broth. So I'm excited to see that. I, this is what I cook my rice in. I've always cooked it in the uh, vegan, the, excuse me, vegetable broth because it gives it a, another flavor as opposed to using water. Some hot cocoa with marshmallows. Some townhouse crackers. I love rice. I can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I love rice. This is to cook those oyster mushrooms in. Some all-purpose flour. Some minced garlic. And two cans of albacore. Albacore tuna. Albacore tuna. I think that's it. Yeah, small haul, small haul. Didn't have a lot to get. Just really needed the, you know, the milk and bread, some coffee, things like that. But yeah, guys, this is my new kitchen setup. So I'm very happy. I'm excited to film videos here. I have a lot more area to work with, different escape here i'm so excited i i know i have to get some type of a, a lighting here um i've seen something on amazon that i can purchase and uh mount somewhere in here i guess but i need a little extra lighting here but uh yeah guys i don't want to show you my kitchen because it's still not fully unpacked but just want to give you i don't care you guys moved before it's not junky it's just moving stuff so i just wanted to give you an idea again how big the kitchen is now as opposed to the kitchen that we moved out of so this is the other side of my kitchen so again still unpacked still not completely unpacked but i'm just really loving the space is that's what i'm pretty much trying to go after here with you just to show you the space that we have here love the space so i got big plans for 2022 in this kitchen this kitchen is going to bring us a lot of nice good meals for the holidays guys going to make a lot of nice meals here for the holidays and there's a banana bread pudding that i've uh, made the last two years from a young lady that i follow on youtube helen h is her name she's um plant-based also and um, i love her channel and she uh, i get a lot of uh recipe ideas from her so uh yeah like i said in weeks to come going into 22 2022 i have a lot of um big plans for my channel and i'm so thankful for all of you who stop by and support me and watch my channel subscribe to my channel and the ones that leave comments the ones that don't i'm still appreciative that you stop by and watch my channel and and giving me a thumbs up I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you guys when you do leave comments. You know, it warms my heart. But uh, yeah, again, um, new place, news place, less space. I forget how I made that video. But yeah, downsized to a smaller place, but um, it has more updated furnishings. So that was the main key here for us. Um, downsized to a one bedroom and a den as opposed to a two bedroom. Oh, let me show you something else that I purchased. 
because we are big ice folks here. So we buy ice from the market, from, what is that store called? Forget it, whatever it is. But anyway, buy the bags of ice. So this is gonna go in the freezer and to store the ice instead of having that big bag in the freezer. So isn't that cute? $7 at Walmart. Um, I, I actually bought two. So, um, I believe like between a bag of ice, I don't think it's a five or 10 pound bag of ice. They, between the two of these containers, I should be able to get both bags of ice in there. But yeah, I thought that was a nice, uh, addition to store the ice in. So again, welcome to my new kitchen. I think I'm going to name it a la Rosa Sharon. Not sure yet. I'm going to think of something funny. But again, thank you guys for watching the video. Thanks for coming back and joining me on my new journey here in my new space. And uh, I look forward to putting out content that I hope um, will bring you guys back again and again and again. So uh, I'm going to close on that note. And I'm going to make something really quick. Nothing big tonight because, again, it's, it's already... 5 30 that's late for me you know so i'm gonna probably uh, make like a quick salisbury steaks type of a situation out of i've had in the refrigerator for a couple of days so i'm gonna put this into like a salisbury type steak type of a thing cook this down with some onions and peppers and gravy over some rice and then maybe one of these bags of veggies so yeah i'm gonna make a video as soon as i put up uh all of these groceries so stick around come back and uh check out my dinner video later on and again thank you guys for coming back and visiting please give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed please do so for the returning subscribers or viewers thank you for coming back i truly appreciate you for stopping by and supporting my channel and until i turn this camera on again be blessed and be well.